NASA's largest and most powerful space telescope, the James Webb Telescope, is giving us a brand new look at the universe today. And as we celebrate its second year of operations, can you tell us about this new image? Sure. The image that Webb is uh, showing us today, uh, we sometimes call it the penguin and egg mm -hmm. uh, galaxy, or maybe the hummingbird galaxy. And what you're looking at is two galaxies that are in the process of colliding or merging. Uh, this process began several uh, hundred million years ago. It will take about a billion years until they've actually merged together. But at this intermediate stage, we see the penguin galaxy, which was probably a spiral galaxy similar to our own, being shredded by the gravitational interaction with the egg galaxies. And like I say, eventually they'll merge together into one larger galaxy. So images like this, they're beautiful to look at, but they also tell us about how the universe builds up large galaxies. That's astonishing, actually. Just like looking into the past like that, that is absolutely amazing. Um, in just two years, Webb has already revolutionized our views of what the universe is. What are your favorite findings so far? Uh, well, you mentioned revolutionizing our understanding. And in fact, that's what it's done when it's looked back into the very earliest times to see galaxies beginning to form. It's what we built that to do. It's doing that unbelievably well, and we know people will look even farther. So it's telling us how the universe more or less turned the lights on with the first stars and galaxies. Astronomers are also using it uh, in, in the nearby universe to study the atmospheres of planets around other stars and telling us what those atmospheres are made of. Uh, it's fascinating, and maybe someday we'll find a planet that's got an atmosphere that would be uh, habitable. Absolutely. That is just super fascinating about this telescope. Now, how does it work together with other telescopes and Earth-based obser observatories to explore the universe? So astronomers today have to use all the tools they can to study the universe. They use telescopes in space like Webb, or they could use ground-based telescopes to study the same objects. Uh, so astronomers work together and have these telescopes look at the same objects to learn different things because of the different wavelengths that they study. Another question I do have is, where can our viewers go to keep up with the images and learn more about them throughout, as they keep getting posted? Well, you can go on the World Wide Web to www.nasa.gov slash web with two Bs, or you can follow us on social media at NASA Web to keep up with the latest and greatest and most beautiful images from web. I have one more question that I was curious to know about. What specific aspects of the James Webb Telescope photos do you think resonate most with people around the world? Um, so the fascinating thing about science images like those that come from web are you find ones, uh, people that really like the images like the one behind me of the cosmic cliffs of star forming regions in our own galaxies. You find other people who are fascinated by the deep, deepest images where you see thousands of galaxies strewn across the field. So uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I'm sure anybody can find something uh, in web images that they really like. Absolutely. There are so many beautiful images that this telescope has captured, and I'm so excited that you guys are sharing them with us. And they're so beautiful and just astonishing. I very much thank you for your time. Do you have anything else you would like to add for today? Well, like I say, just follow us on social media at NASA Web so you can keep up with the beautiful images that come in uh, every week from Web. Absolutely. Dr. Eric Smith, program scientist of NASA, thank you very much for your time today. My pleasure.